right, Joe, the next question is from Amy from New Jersey. She has a question about what to do after the Save My Marriage course. Amy, can you hear us okay? Hi, yes, I can. Hey, how are you doing today? I'm hanging in there. <laughs> That's an honest answer. Mm -hmm. How can we help you today, Amy? So I've gone through the 10-week program, and <laughs> my um, representative is fabulous. However, my husband and I have very limited contact, um, especially with him being five states away. Mm. And so mm. I wanted to know, with the coaching program, if there's any way for them to help me be have more effective communication skills, basically, because I feel like I have very limited opportunities to speak um, with him, and mm -hmm. maybe every three weeks emails me, and I don't know if I'm answering things professionally, kindly, respectfully, optimally, hmm. and so I'm like, where do I go from here? All right. That's an excellent question. Well, our, our coaches do exactly that. They coach, which means they're not counselors, they're not therapists, they're coaches, and they're well, well versed in our information and our material. They've all been through our workshops, for example. They've all been trained by Jim Porto, who is our director of operations, but also over all of our, our coaches. And, and the way they can help you do this, Amy, is if you've had a conversation with, with your husband, for example, you could kind of play that conversation back for them in terms of, and then when he said this, I said that. Now, they won't go, hmm. No, what you should have said was, that's, they're not trained to do it that way. They're trained to ask you questions like, okay, how do you think he responded to that? What do you think you could have said that might have had a different message? And what was it you were actually trying to accomplish? And so by knowing the right questions to ask, they can help you think things through in process. And, and often that's better than somebody saying, no, no, say this, say this, because then you forget. But when people are asking you questions and helping you think it through is when you start going, oh, I'm learning this process. I'm, I'm now learning what you're talking about. Yes, that makes sense to me. And so it's understanding and comprehending the principles that really help you communicate better as opposed to somebody saying, don't say this, say this. Does that make any sense at all what I'm saying here? Absolutely, and that's where I feel like I'm all thumbs right now because the majority of our communication is via email, and uh, so it can come off as very cold. Yes, um, it can. And so that's what I really think I need next. Uh, so I guess I'll reach out to my um, Amber and have her help me sign up for the classes. Um, I mean, for the coaching, just mm -hmm. because I, I, I feel like I'm all thumbs, like when I'm sending things back, trying to have some emotion, um, but mm -hmm. like, respectful and kindness, but not being um, like a pushover. <laughs> well, I got you. And you don't want to be that doormat, if you will. Amber is very good. Mm -hmm. And when you talk to Amber again, uh, talk about, you know, help her, tell her, I'm asking you, Amber, to help me get the right coach you think would work best with me. Now, all our coaches are good. I believe in all okay. of them. But sometimes there are ones that work better with okay. particular people. And if, if uh, Amber knows you, and I'm assuming that she does, and Amber's extremely sharp, yeah then she can help get you the right coach to help you do this. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Amy. Thank you, Amy. Hope you have a Merry Christmas. Same you to you. Too. Merry Christmas to you. Merry thank you for that. Christmas. She sounds like an extremely intelligent young lady to me. Absolutely. I was impressed with just the way she thinks and talks. Yeah. Because all of us can really mess things up. I don't care who we are. Mm -hmm. But when you hear a person going, hmm, okay, now how do I do this better? Mm-hmm. That's when you see people that it's like, wow, that, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. As Kimberly said earlier, sometimes we, and we understand, we understand people in pain sometimes just need to rent, to rant and to vent. Mm -hmm. I put those two things together and said rent, rent <laughs> and vent. But uh, we really like when a person gets to the point of, okay, at this point, it's all about how do I do this better? And, and we love working with people in that situation. Mm -hmm.